Jini pia Audi price is bullish. Tuangalie kwa kwa next week price ita ita open vipi. GBP Audi next pair maybe anaweza kwa ni pair gani hapa. This chief alikuwa bearish 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 bearish. I see the pony bearish. Then then kiangalia hapa unaonekana kama kuna trend trend ime shift somewhere hapa maana hii hapa point ilikuwa ni low low then low high this point over here kwa sababu why low low tuko na hii hapa point ya inducement ada hii kuwa na hii hapa point then price ikaja kwenye hii somewhere over here kwenye hii hapa the block at this point hii hapa ilikuwa ni order block baada ikaja kuwa liquidated alafu baada hapo tukao na BOS BOS hapa but na expect to price baada ya breakout e point idm kwa tuna hii hapa point ya low low ya kwa point. Hello, tupata na expect maybe price ingekuja somewhere here. Tuweze ku sell. At this point. Ni kama hicho. this point maana ndio ilikuwa point pekee mwisho wa siku baada ya kuvunja hapo imekuja ku change character huko ni change kutoka bearish kuwa bullish yes dhf kwa kama hii hapa itaendelea ku buy bas probably euro usd ataendelea kufanya ataendelea ku sell hapa tuna change of character but ya confirm loa loa nini anasema haya hai iko same gani tuta confirm haya hai endapo price itashuka mpaka around maeneo haya hapa tuta confirm point kama ni haya hai lakini still bado ya confirm kama ni haya hai kwa hiyo maybe labda inaweza ikaja hivi Afrika ya huko chini mpaka sawa ya maeneo haya hapa. Afu. Ikaondoka. Probably something like kama hicho kitu kama hicho kinaweza kikafanyaje? Katokea au kaendelea kwenda juu afu ndio ikarudi huko chini. Kwa hiyo anything might happen but buyers ni bullish. ni bullish ni bullish na kama ikitokea imegeukia hapo same peke ambayo utategemea kubai itakuwa ni hapa kama hapa ilipo ikaendelea kushuka basi tutaweza tukabai ya sehemu hii hapa ya zile ndio naweza likawa ni same sahihi la kubai kwa hii pair ya USD CHF kama itashuka tokea hapa ila kama ikienda juu then utaangalia ta confirm baada ya soko kufunguliwa kuanzia kesho na kesho kutwa au wiki ijayo yote taangalia ila baadhi ni change ni bullish huyu ni SDCHF ni SDJ pia ngoja tumwangalie 
euro USD. USD. Rwanda FXM. Euro USD. Not okay. Yeah, apa? Yeah, apa ni daily daily chart? Tumangali ya vizuri ya apa? Price. change up kutoka kuwa bullish kuwa bearish ah yeah, hapa ndio ilikuwa this point over here kuwa so, uh, this point over here ilikuwa ni baada kwa na hiyo hapo then tuna true haya uh, bos like a full structure baada kwa na hiyo bos chop this point over here tuka na inducement that kwa hapa ilikuwa ni haya hai kwenye euro usd ilikuwa ni haya hai haya low haya hai then price baada ya kuja kutengeneza low low imepiti imepitiliza fia kwa baada ya kupitiliza hapo price probably may change character imekuwa imekuwa bearish na kumbuka kuna baadhi ya analysis ambazo nilishawahi kushare nilikuwa naangalia projection ya euro USD kwa huko mbeleni inaweza ikaendelea ku drop baka kuna eneo fulani vile weekly naenda kuitafuta huko chini kwa hiyo in case ikitokea price ime, ime naniliu, imepanda moja kwa moja kwa hiyo naweza ku expect ku sell eneo hili hapa nadal kani eneo zuri kwa ajili yako ya kusell kama ikiendelea kusell kwa hiyo huyu naye kutoka kwenye daily perspective tunaweza tukasell price ndapo ikija ikirudi hapa hii ndio itakuwa ni uzuri la kusell ila kwa sasa hivi kama ukipata kwenye lower time frame ukapata na niliu ukapata entry za za kubai za ku counter trend unaweza ukabai then eneo hili hapa tunaweza tukasell kishindikana ku sell hapa then next point ambayo tunaweza tukasell inaweza ikawa ni hii hapa probably ndio kani ndio jikini la kusell ila hili hapa pana ili sio eneo zuri la kusell sio ni uzuri la kusell wala hapa na yenyewe hizo zote zimu ni maeneo ambayo mtu ukisell hayana high probability high probability areas ni hapa na hapa kwenye kwenye kumsell huyu bwana euro usd euro usd maana kipindi kile alikuwa anashuka baada ya kuteka out of inducement kuna msubiri kumbai somewhere hapa hapa na kuna kulikuwa kuna level ambayo tunaweza tukafanya to cancel kwa euro usd in case akiendelea kama usd chf tu naweza akaja hii akaja hapa hapo ndio akashuka bwana euro usd by next iko ni pia ambazo endelea kuzifuatilia na ukichangia na ubizi niliokuwa nao sasa hivi kwa hiyo hizo nilikuwa nafuatilia nikamwangalia kwenye lower time frames mfano kwenye H1 euro USD angalia vizuri kwenye H1 naona yuko bearish very yuko very bearish H1 hapa 
still bad one only. Can I go? You go bearish. No, no. Go up on your journey, maybe. And as I can just say, we have on your own, not that sell by next week. I can fail to sell the upper. Kikitokea me fail to sell the upper. Then moja kwa moja naweza akaja aka change character structure ikabadilika kabisa. Kwa hiyo kutokea amefail ku change hapo na akaja aka break hii same. Sio tunaweza tukaja tukamkuta kwenye daily huko. Maana da. Tokea me change hapo akaja aka break hii structure probably anaweza akaja aka buy baka huko juu kwenye hii point moja ni k1 sasa natumia nini mara nyingi natumia trade za za intraday katokea amekuja ku break aki break ile level basi ndo tunaweza kuja kwa muona anarudi kwenye hii hapa zone usd chuani kwa hiyo kutokea ja respect hii zone na akaja akavunja hii level moja kwa moja naweza akaja huko juu kwenye daily level kwenye hii zone daily zone ambao ni hapa huko juu akaja maeneo haya hapa juu na akachenja akarudi akaendelea kushuka chini probably Tumangalia vizuri huko ndani kwenye ile eneo ni eneo ambalo lina very strong very good area ile. Sasa kaja kaishia hata hapa. Kwa hiyo tutaendelea kumfuatilia next week. Tafanya uh, first attempt kwenye kwenye, kwenye first attempt ya kusell hapa. Asipo sell hapa basi tutasubiri tutaangalia possibility ya ku buy baada ya ku break level ki break hapa tutaanza ku buy then exit zote zote zitatoka kwenye zitatoka kwenye hii hapo zone kwenye daily zone huyo ni euro usd then kuna gbp usd gbp usd ukimwangalia daily yuko very beautiful na hivyo hivyo structure yake naye pia ni bearish price amesha break structure kwenye downside kwa hiyo unategemea aendelee ku drop zaidi ukija kwenye 1 hour one hour, one hour, one hour na you could very bearish. Could very bearish. Ko is the analysis intraday wa sila ni analysis kwenye daily time frame ko ntaendelea. Tendelea kumfuatilia. Kitu gani? Kita kitaendelea by next week. Akija moja kwa moja basi tutategemea ku sell around this these areas. I mean your supply supply akifail ku sell up basi tamsubiri hapa juu kwa hiyo wakati tunaendelea kumsubiri oh shit already na na leo tutatafuta tu namna ya ku ya ku ya ya kucapitalize kwenye hii movement ya kuja huku juu na confirmation kwenye lower time frame bao ni probably ni h1 tamsubiri hapo huyu ni GBP USD this one ko price ilikuwa inatengeneza this is structure i i this is i i i low i low imekuja mpaka hapa i i then i low i i low low ko unategemea low high tuendelee tuendelee kushuka kama hicho Kwa hiyo GBP USD GBP AUD na yeye mwenyewe tunamsubiria hapo. Kwa hiyo sina uhakika kama price inaweza ika ikananilii nisivunje. Probably inaweza kavunja hii zone then tukaangalia possibility za kusell. Na kama isipovunja tutasubiria kitu kama hiki kitokee liquidity sweep. Nita liquidity sweep. 
Then it okay candle. It close hivi below. It's close below ya chepini. Kukua uku chini. Ba, chini ya hapa level. It close. Bada hapo ndo neza. Kangalia na mna. Ya kubai. USD chief bullish. Another pair. USD JPY. Pia gani nyingine ya mbao mna, mna suggest. Kuna mtu anasajeshen ya pia yote. Mbao tunanza tukayangalia chap chap kabla mda ujaisha. Ana NZUSD na yuko bearish yu. Pop pop. Try. Try. Go back. Jamana yu. Ya yeah, naonekana yuko yuko bearish. Yes, change of color. Uh, yes. Using. Change of character yuko bullish. Bullish, 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 bullish. That's a bit. This point, we are not going to bullish. Then, somewhere up this level over here. Which pair ambao neza tuka analyze. Uwe neza kinda juu. Haka push to the upside. Ulo GBP. GJ. Uko bullish. GJ. Uko bullish. So my expectations. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, this one change of character. Maybe. Now that can buy up. ni zone ya daily ndio ni kubwa kidogo daily zone <coughs> this is daily zone kwa hii gj baada ya hapo tuna hii point of change change of character hapa imetokea <sighs> paste Change of character. But I have a point then to you know this very nice inducement. Yes. Well, probably, maybe. Neza kwa point nzuri ya kubai ya hapa. Kama kwa mtu ambaye nataka kuingia kwa limit order. Otherwise, nata hapa pia maybe plus ne. Neza kwa unyesha na niwa. Makali ya kwenye 5 minutes.
Kali yang mana berdua naya berdua ini. sini endelea kumwangalia huyu naweza kupata entry za kubai gg na kumwangalia vizuri hapa tukua na hapa pull back bos this point break of market structure hapa tuna bos break of market structure baada hapo tuna investment over here copy this one baada hapo tuna order block hii hapa hapa tulikuwa tuna hii hapa haya hai hello then tuna hii hapa haya hai kwa hiyo in case kama utapata confirmation za kusell za kubai bas target yetu itakuwa around this zone hapo juu ambao ni almost kama pips 400 na kama tukipata entry ya kubai kwenye H1 DJ 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 iko vizuri iko vizuri hapa price ikifail hapa maeneo haya hapa this pull back baada hapo price ikafanya internal hizi internal structures hizi internal structure bios baada hapo price imefanya sweep baada ya kufanya sweep kendo closure na subi return to order block return to this area over here maybe this one ilikuwa ni entry nzuri tu ya kubai hapa lakini sio high probability kwa kama hii tunga pitch ni risk to duration so so, so eneo zuri sana la kubai ila high probability area ya kubai ni hii hapa chini hii point hapa na kama ikitokea imekubali hii point basi target yetu ya kwanza itakuwa ni hapa Getetu ya kwanza itakuwa ni hapa target yetu ya mwisho itakuwa ni huku juu ambao ni kama almost pipsi pipsi 500 frani hii hapa tokea imekubali kubai hapa na ni high probability setup ikirudi mpaka hapa chini this one is not high probability oh uh, ndio hivyo wewe unatakie 